by businesses and the police has resulted in nine arrests. A growing number of companies in the West Midlands are using the face watch scheme. It enables businesses to report information more quickly to the police, while a smartphone app also allows members of the public to help identify suspects and witnesses. Joanne Rittle has been investigating. CCTV images of a shoplifter. It could take police days to get hold of the footage, but not in this case. This shop's one of a growing number of businesses linking up with West Midlands Police in a system called Facewatch, and this is how it works. I'm here, captured on security cameras at the NEC. My image can be seen by security staff here, and if I'd committed a crime, it could immediately be sent to the police. Lee Boff is operations manager at the NEC. He can send a simple crime report and CCTV to the police at the touch of a button. We've had a, a couple of, of um, good results. In fact, one of them pending a court appearance by somebody that was caught on the system and uploaded, and the police were able to identify that person quickly and effect an arrest from it. Remember that security footage of me earlier? It's now been sent to police. We've wasted a lot of time in the past trying to download CCTV computers and systems that are around different businesses. This is really simple. It allows the business to do it very quickly and it means the police don't need to spend a long time downloading that information. And already in the short trial period that we've been running, we've had over 180 downloads and of those, nine people have been arrested. Another side to this technology is this free app. Basically, images of people police may want to speak to are posted on here in the hope that members of the public will contact them with information. So Big Brother gets larger still, and police hope people will download their Facewatch app as another tool in the fight against crime. Joanne Rittle, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. An 86-year-old chief...